when you're trying to find points to plot, like to plot on your graph, choose ones, it, choose stuff to plug in. You can pick whatever you want for x, right? It's the independent variable, so you can choose it. You want to pick values that will be nice, and remember, ln means log base e. So pick things that will turn into where this will turn into powers of e. Like, for instance, 2. Because when you plug 2 in here, that's, that's the log base e of 1, which is 0. Or 2e, because when you plug 2e in here, the 2's cancel out and you just get log base e of e. Follow? Or 2e to the negative 1, which is 2 over e. Because when you plug that in here, the 2's cancel out and you get log base e of e to the negative 1, which is just negative 1. Follow. So when you're looking for things, don't make it complicated when you're trying to find points to plot. So now when I graph this, it's easier for me to see what happens. And I should be able to see what happens based upon just um, shifting and doing things like that. Because if I'm taking y equals ln of 1 half x, like that, I, sh I should know that it's, it, it's going to look something like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look something like this somehow. But I don't know exactly where it's going to go because this one half um, either expands it or contracts it. It does something. It stretches it or shrinks it. And and what it what it does when you do this is you're like, oh, I see what it does. That point is right here now. Let me change this to red. That point is right here. You're still going to have the same vertical asymptote because that hasn't changed. It hasn't sh trans um, it hasn't shifted anywhere. So your graph is just going to do. It's going to stretch it like that. That's your. That's the graph. That's the way it looks. So when you're when you, my what I'm trying to say is when you get problems like let's say they want you to graph log base three of x minus two. And if you want to pick points, don't just randomly pick one, two, three. Pick numbers. What what do I want this to be right here? I want that to be zero. I want that to be one or three or 9, or 1 third, or 1 ninth. I want that to be powers of 3, because those are easy to find. So, what should I pick x to be? Or, yeah, what should I pick x to be? If I want this thing to be 1, what should x be? 3. three. If I want this thing to be 3, what should that be? 5. If I want this thing to be 9, it should be 11. And then it's easy to do this in your head. What's the log base 3? This would be log base 3 of 1. 3 to what power equals 1? Zero. 0. This is the log base 3 of 3. 3 to what power equals 3? 1. 1, etc. This is the log base 3 of 9. Just 2. See how much easier it is if you're picking yeah. carefully, if you're picking smartly, mm -hmm. your values to go. For your different points so don't make it complicated try to make it as simple as you possibly can because then it's so much easier when you're graphing these things to see oh look three comma zero one two three zero there's one point five comma one there's another point eleven comma two and you can see oh i see what's going to happen it's going to go like this oh wait no, it's not. What I forget to do. What I forget. See what I forgot? Oh, What's my asymptote? Yeah. yeah, my asymptote. What? My vertical what? asymptote was right here. So it actually goes like this. I mean, mine was. Gotcha. That's the graph. Okay. Now, and that, again, would have been the easier way to do it, just to do the shift. Look, take your base graph and shift it right to. But I see a lot of people stressing out over what are my values because the teacher wants me to put points on the graph. Well, pick nice points. Pick nice points to put on the graph.